this video, I'm going to go out and demonstrate some steep turns. So we're going to come out here, level off at 3,000 feet. Going to do some pre-maneuvering checks. And then we're going to demonstrate steep turns. And for steep turns, the private pilot ACS requires 45 degree bank angle, plus or minus 5 degrees, maintaining uh, plus or minus 100 feet, and rolling out within 10 degrees of your initial heading. So I want to get down to 3,000 feet, kind of overshot this a little bit. Then we're going to do our pre-landing, a pre-maneuvering checklist. Another important factor when doing steep turns is you want to be below the VA speed, max maneuvering speed for the aircraft. And remember the VA speed that is listed in the POHs a lot of times is based on max gross weight. So if you're not going to be a max gross weight, your VA speed needs to be a little bit lower uh, because you're lighter. And the whole purpose of uh, not exceeding the max VA speed is so that you don't overstress the aircraft, potentially damage it or have a catastrophic failure. So I'm going to be using a lot of my G5, Garmin G5. It's basically a six pack within one instrument. Um, it's got a ball inclinator, turn coordinator on it. It's got my airspeed, my altitude, uh, everything I need, my bank angle, my attitude indicator. So we're going to use that quite a bit here. All right, so I'm at 3,000 feet. As indicated, my altimeter, my GPS or Garmin G5 shows a little bit different, but uh, they're not much. About 2200 RPM. I'm going to make sure I'm trimmed out nicely. I'm going to turn to a heading of north. Right now I'm a little bit to the east. And I'm going to do my, again, pre maneuvering checklist. For me, that is kind of going a flow left to right. Mixture's rich. The key's on both. Um, primer's in and locked. Landing lights, maneuvering lights are on. And my gas is where I want. So, got that all checked out going to now clear the air. I'm going to do a 90 degree turn to the left. Looking out my left wing. Alright, so now that I'm on my heading, I'm going to do this move over 3,100 feet. We're going to roll right into a 30 degrees of bank while adding 100 RPM of power and then continue on to 45 degrees of bank. Uh, we're going to be looking out the window most of the time, and uh, we're going to be pitching back a little bit to maintain the altitude. Uh, that's what the extra RPMs are for, to uh, help ensure that we maintain airspeed as well as the altitude, because we're losing a little vertical lift here. And I'm going to drop down a smidge here because I rose a little bit as I talked here. Now I'll begin the maneuver. There we are. So there we are, about 3,100 feet, going about 90 miles an hour. And clear my left, we're going to roll right into 30 degrees of bank, add that power, pull back, and we're going to stay coordinated. So I'm looking out the window, and then just kind of seeing it slice across the sky. You want to roll out half your bank angle. And that's about 22 and a half degrees. We're going to roll out. And then bring the power back. Overshot that just a little bit. We'll do another one. Looks like I gained about 100 feet, too, from where I started. So I'm going to drop my power. Look traffic, traffic, 26, I'll get back 3 mile left base, runway 26, Look on you. Okay, I'm facing due north. I'm going to roll right into 30 degrees of bank and add a little power. I'm going to pull back. Keeping centered, looking out the window, looking for my 45 degrees of bank. And then just kind of holding that attitude out there. And within 22 half degrees, I start the rollout. And then reduce my power back to where it was. Different traffic. We're going to roll right into 30 degrees of bank. Add a little power, pull back just a smidge, keep the bank rolling over to 45, and then just hold it. Start on a north heading, remembering that. Not going to let myself climb. Just 
hold that bank angle. When I get to within half the bank angle or 22 and a half degrees, I'm going to start my rollout. There we go, roll out. Level wings and bring the power back. I can even feel my little bump there. So now I'm going to do one to the right. Popped up a little bit because I didn't bring the power back quick enough. I'm going to turn back to the right. All right, clear my right. Roll right into 30 degrees of bank. Add that power. And keep on bringing it over to 45. Pulling back a little bit. Staying coordinated. A little more right rudder. Looking out the window, just holding it, holding it. When I get within 22 and a half degrees of my roll heading, I start the rollout and I'll bring that power back to where I had it. Or I don't balloon up. And that is a steep turn to the left and right. All right, we're going to do one again to the left, starting at 1 8 heading. And roll about 90 knots. So I'm going to roll right into 30 degrees of bank, add about 100 RPM of power, and pull back. And then keep the bank turning over all the way to 45. Making sure we're staying coordinated, we're looking out the window. If I start to get too high, I'll just reduce the power a little bit. Two six, look on you. Two zero uh, down with the roll out. Yeah. Bring my power back. Like I climbed a little bit. Drop that power back down again. I'm gonna stick at about twenty one hundred RPM, I think, here. Level off at three thousand by the altimeter. There's my 30 degrees, there's my 45 degrees clear on my left. We're going to go roll right into 30 degrees of bank, add a little power, about 2200. Pulling back a little bit, going right over the steep turn, looking out the window, coming in every few uh, seconds. The wind. And when I'm at 22 and a half degrees, roll it out and bring that power down. Now we're going to do one to my right, clear right. Add that power and then 30 degrees of bank, staying coordinated. Looking out the window. Gonna remember to roll out about half, 22 and a half degrees before the 1.8. There we go, bring that power right on back. That's it. So it's really when you roll in to that 30 degrees of bank, I'm adding the 100 RPM power, roughly, to... Um, oh, traffic, 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 final runway, 26, full stop, look on you. To help compensate for uh, the loss of vertical component of lift. I'm also pulling back. Um, and that also has a tendency to slow me down a little bit. So again, that extra RPM helps to ensure the airspeed doesn't get uh, too slow. All right, so we're at 3,000 feet. I'm going to put about 2,100 RPM in, see how we level off. Do another one to the right. Clear my right. Roll right into 30 degrees of bank. Going to add a little bit of power. Rolling back a smidge. Keep it coming over. Staying coordinated. A little more right rudder. Right rudder. And then hold the 45. And then just hold it around. And there we go, start a rollout, bring that power back so we don't pull, pull up. There we go. Like that. Do one more to the left. Clear my left, roll right in, add that power. Pulling back a little bit. Maintain 3,000 feet, 45 degree angle. Again, you're going to roll out at half the bank angle. There 
There we go, start a rollout. Bring that power back so you don't bulge up. And that is how we do deep turns in a Super Cup. Pretty much the same way in any aircraft.